Hey and welcome back to my channel, I'm Daniel and this is episode number 20. 20 episodes since I started uploading a video every single day. What I will show you today, come come with me. This is the place where I'm working at the moment. This is Julian from Project Neuseeland. Go to the description, you can find some stuff. The plan today is actually to start working on a video project that I was waiting for the last couple of weeks or days. So let me tell you a little bit about this. <laughs> So back in November, I started editing on a video project that I did for Lizzie Pierce, a YouTuber based in Toronto in Canada. She's amazing. You definitely, you definitely have to check out her YouTube channel. But she liked the video so much that so on the 1st of January, she uploaded the video to her channel. In November, she was looking for an assistant position. <laughs> I was so stupid. I actually thought she was looking for a video editor assistant and I thought like, yeah, let's make a video. And then what kind of video? And then I saw that she is turning two years on YouTube and I thought this is the best thing I could do. Make a video for her for the two years because maybe she's so busy. So I started editing that. I missed the deadline, but then I thought, you know what? I started that project and I was really passionate about it. And I went through all her footage. I wanted to finish this project just for myself then. And I didn't even care anymore about this job positioning. So I continued, I finished the video, I sent emails in and then I I heard nothing. So and there was another week that just went by and I heard nothing, 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 nothing. So I was like, ah, oh, a little bit sad. But anyway, that's life, right? Everybody is busy. But then I went to Instagram and she was looking for a video editor assistant position. And I was thinking like, what, what, what? At that point, I decided I sent her with every of my email addresses. And also I went on Instagram and I texted her on Instagram. And on Christmas, I think she responded to me and what you see here in the back is already the first footage from the first vlog. No, I'm not the editor and this is not what this video is about. Actually, at the moment, I'm in the final round. So there are six people in total. Maybe one of them will become the editor. I only have three days. And the whole morning, I was already kind of figuring out how to download all the footage because she sent 46 gigabytes of material from time lapses, different cameras. Maybe I've seen the vlog where we went to find a SIM card that was 25 gigabytes. We already went through three of them. <laughs> You do what you have to do. I'm now going to a walk. This is the house where here, the house where we have our Airbnb at the moment. The last two days, I was super, super excited getting the footage and kind of like, yeah, I wanted to work on it. This is the view that we have. Actually now going through this long walk through the island, I came from this mountains behind, so the ocean is behind that. And I'm actually listening to the podcast again to kind of like pick out if I can get or use something from the podcast as well, because in this episode, it's very, very important because they launched the podcast. So I want to put that in as well. I'm already getting ideas and I'm already laughing and smiling. And I think this is the most important if you create any project at all. You have to have fun. Love the process. Doesn't matter what the outcome is, love the process. You will always learn something about it. So yeah, let's move on. On the way back down, I don't even know if I want to put this into the video, but uh, I thought I'd maybe talk about this because I have, I'm have i scared about this project that I'm doing right now. I'm really scared. Not because I'm not getting the job, it's more about I'm scared if I'm able to pull off a video in the time and also story-wise and also for myself, not just making a video, just cutting everything. I would basically start with that, but in a way that I can be proud of myself. And this leads to something that uh, I deal with a lot since I started my own business in 2016, or even as a person. So many times I, I have self-doubts. And the main reason why I started my morning routine, I made a video about it, you, you should definitely check it out. But one of the main reasons why I also started writing 1000 words every morning is basically to monitor my own thoughts. Because when I started that, that was so bad. Those, the way that I talked to myself, the way that I kind of like beaten up myself, is, it was crazy. And so slowly I'm changing that because of writing every morning. And, but again, even if I made the video and she uploaded this one video already, I, fe I still feel very scared and uh, un uncertain. Is that a way, the word? Anyway, I just wanted to say, talk about that. I don't want to go too deep into this. 
it, I'm also excited of course and it's also a challenge and always I like challenges and with every challenge you can kind of like move on or oh, there's a car now coming so yeah with every challenge you can kind of move on and that's what I will try to do Hello. <laughs> yeah anyway I'm going back now see you soon I also show you how my desk is looking at the moment. So this is the new Dell XPS 15 that I have since this year. There is a video, I link it somewhere here. Here's still my old XPS 13. I'm actually really liking still for the size and I'm writing my 1000 words every morning on this machine. I have my light here. Oh, my GoPro, that's still the old one. And we have some power here. This is actually where the internet comes from. We have a tablet, that's the SIM card in. So I'm using those headphones here from Sony. They're pretty nice, pretty cool. I have them. Here's where my notes are. This is where a time lapse is recording at the moment. And I'm actually recording this time lapse uh, with a fish eye lens. Can you see that? Yeah, so I'm still using the iPhone SE, but this is a fish eye lens to get a wider range. I put the banana into the frame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is why I'm super excited at the moment because I really want to see how this uh, video goes and I want to put everything in that I can and then just see it, you know? The same treatment like with the first video. Doesn't matter if I get the job or not and I don't care too much too about this. Obviously I want the job, but I learn a lot just doing this project. That kind of like every time you do something, you do something different, this is when you learn. And this is also why I want to share that here on my journey, on this vlog. So yeah, stay tuned. I will tell you a little bit more about how the process of this editing goes. I can't give you some footage from the vlog, of course, that will be the presentation for her. And then who knows, maybe my vlog will never be online, but at least this is what's going on at the moment in my life. Definitely check out the room tour. You have to see the room tour video because I think it's a cool video also from the area a little bit. I walked around. I love Tenerife. It's a really cool island here. So see us tomorrow and then bye.